So it's late in the evening and we just pull up to the Florida Mall. I want to take a look at those Kobe 8 Core Purples. And this video is sponsored by Esther. More about them later. Big falling in the building. Ah, I was good. How you doing? I was bro? like, what is this guy calling? Put like a put work into the new renovation, man. I didn't even notice this display. You can see it from the, the window. And when you walk in, they also got displays right over here as well. Appreciate it. This is it your personal? Types, the Kobe 8s. Port Purple. One of the two shoes that dropped today. The other one was like Radiant, Radiant Emerald, I believe. These are my size, size 12, yeah, in the building. Unfortunately, I did not go after them. And Foot Locker, I did try to get a pair off of sneakers today, but that was the the Emerald pair. I didn't I didn't really go for these, man. And you can see throughout the whole entire shoe, it has the 8 and 24 markings throughout the whole midfoot even though it's my size i'm not gonna try them on it did retail for 190. i like it man i'm not a biggest fan of kobe 8s even though it's a lot of people's favorite shoe and another fun fact about this shoe is kobe got injured in this that's when he ruptured his achilles against the warriors back in 2012 2012 2013 nba season now let me know if you guys went after these kobe x is really simple uh, my favorites are the 10 and the 11s i play ball in them i wear them casually but let me know if y'all went after these pro trolls eights the court oh shit the core purples and while we're here let's take a look at some shoes <laughs> now, if you watched my previous video you know why i picked this up well two videos ago because today is the reason why no one purchased these they bought the kobe eights instead so people that passed up on these was patiently waiting to get these man so i can't blame them because these probably a better shoe if you wasn't able to get these or the radiant emeralds then maybe just maybe this is your consolation prize just saying i guarantee you if none of you guys got the kobe's you probably didn't get this this definitely is going to be an outlet shoe i know a lot of people claiming they bought it and i'm not disagreeing with y'all i'm a big six fan too as well but i know there's so many shoes that's coming out that i'm gonna politely pass and i'm gonna wait so i find great price for that it's not something i need along with those and speaking of these i did heard today they got a restock and surprisingly they are selling i'm only reporting the news man say what y'all want to say about what my theory about why nobody bought them. But hey, it's not for everybody. These are not for everybody. Man, always with the heat. Ah, uh, the homie got a size 13. Let me see the size, man. Let's people know in capping. They got big size too. That's what's up. Hey, he got the Yeezys on. I don't know how that. Hey, man, I like his music. Hey. Come on. His new one? Come on. And before I get out of here, man, they still got the fair threes. How many of you guys take these up day one? And when these first came out, bro, less than a week, I found them on sale. No cap. And it still got the pandas, the panda lows, man. These joints are not going out of style. No time soon. So let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Exter. Esther makes minimalist wallets. I've been rocking with this brand for several years. And if you guys are interested, I'm gonna show you guys how to save some dollars purchasing this item. Esther is having a Valentine's Day sale and using my link in the description, you can save up to 25% off. But first, let's talk about some benefits and features of these wallets. This super slim aluminum car holder is half the size of a conventional wallet. It holds up to 12 cards and bills, quick card access at a click of a button, a block RFID to prevent wireless theft, and also a solar power power tracker let's talk about the parliament wallet a premium leather smart wallet is very sophisticated while offering the same slim storage and quick access that we love so guys keep in mind i rock with esther for several years i currently own the carbon fiber but i just replaced it with the aluminum car holder why because having that apple tag on your wallet just make it a whole lot more convenient and safer so guys if you're interested in one of these super slim wallets you check out code nitty or click the link in the description all right so we're back in the studio the studio got a crazy makeover man well at least the desktop area so it's very congested so i'm not at my usual spot but that's neither here nor there the kobe 8s the kobe 8 pro trolls the court purples. What's your thoughts on them? Sorry for shaking the camera. What's your thoughts? Did any of you guys pick it up? I know a few y'all who's watching this did pick it up. Now, to be honest, quick disclaimer, I love Kobe and I love hooping and Kobe's. I equally like rocking them. However, they're not super comfortable on feet for long term. There's pretty much like a two hour shoe if you're gonna wear them casually, to be honest. It's like most Jordans. But I like the Kobe 10s and I love the Kobe 11s to play balling. The Kobe 10 silhouette for casual wear, that's it, that's my speed. The high top nines, the high top 10s, not so much. When you start going back, like the seven, the eights, I wasn't there. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't there buying those shoes when they came out. So I'm not partial to the emotional part of 
copy shoes with the Kobe 7-8s, you know, or the 5s. However, the 2K joints, I was there for those. Matter of fact, that was my first Kobe shoe, not a lot. The Crazy Ace was, but I bought that shoe when it first came out, obviously it was on sale. I even got pictures of me hooping in that shoe, the, the 2K. And when it started retro back in 2015, 16, 17, I bought more pairs and I started playing ball in those until I sprained my ankle, you know, superstitious. I stopped playing in them. There was actually the black and yellow pair. I didn't pick them up. I didn't went crazy after them. Yes, I did went after them on sneakers, but I did not went for them on Foot Locker because wasn't that much excited for that shoe. I just went for the green ones because it was different and the green was only available online. So, you know, a little bit of hype beats kicked in and I didn't get them. But I'm not saying I won't my own a Kobe 8. If a great colorway comes around, a great storyteller, or maybe the Bruce Lee joints if it was doing it back then, maybe I cop. But I politely passed. For those who wanted them, I hope you got them. You know what I mean? Not like I was guaranteed a W for that shoe, but I'm hyper focusing on the shoes I absolutely want this year. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm going to see you on the next video. Peace.